Man, you're gonna get a bunch of candy. Oh, look at this, Daddy. What is it? It's a yucky tree. Ooh. Yucky. Man, you're gonna learn how to read, and then you'll be able to read what that says. The funny bone. What's that on your ear right there? Let me get a close up. Move your hand. Got a skeleton on your ear. And a skull. Ooh. What happened to my baby? Did you have a bike where I can scratch your face? Let me see. Poor baby. Did it hurt? Yeah. Did you cry? Yeah. Who did that to you? Mommy. Mommy did that to you? Mommy did that to the yeah. poor baby's face. <laughs> Let me see. Does it hurt? Does it hurt? No. No? Oh, you got a boo-boo? What are you going to do now? You're going to go see Chad again? Yeah. He's going to go see his dad first. He'll be over tonight. Here's some Poor medicine. Poor baby. Tell me what happened to my baby. Oh, Daddy. Daddy. Was you riding the tricycle yeah. down the hill, you and Chad? And yeah. You didn't make yeah. it down the hill. Yeah. There. <laughs> see, Jolyn said to put some medicine on it so it would get infected. So we had to put a bow on her hair because it was sticking to the blood. Oh, no. That's yeah. my medicine. That's your medicine? Yeah. Look at her hand. Her hand, her hand too? Oh my goodness. <laughs> she did this one two days ago. You better calm down, Tanya. <laughs> You're getting too banged up. That's kind of like Carl's boo-boo when he crashed. Hey, Hi, Hi, Papa. Hi, Papa. Say, look at my face. Look at my face. Can you see it? Yeah. Does she need to turn her head? No, that's fine. Look in the mirror. See your nose? Look at your eye. <laughs> Got the top of your head up here. Yesterday we had to put a bread in it because the it was bleeding and hair was sticking to her blood. So we put a bread in it. Na -na. To keep the, to keep the Na -na. Hair out of it. She had a bloody nose too. <laughs> her nose was all bloody when we picked her up. Hey. <laughs> blood running down. <laughs> blood up here running down. She kept saying I want a band-aid. I want a band-aid. We had to clean it up with peroxide. And I had to hold her legs between my legs. I had to hold her hands. And Geraldine had to hold her head while she cleaned up the blood. I mean, she was twisting and squirming. It takes four of us to hold her at the doctor's Mommy. office. So you can imagine with just two people trying to hold her. Mommy, what you think? Your drink? Yeah. Your apple juice? Yeah. You think your face will ever get well, Tom? I want time? my apple juice. You want your apple juice? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bye. 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 Ashley and Tanya, stand up. Ashley.
Ashley. Ashley, Tanya. Ashley. Stand up, Tanya, but Ashley. This casket me. Baby's die. Mm hmm. Oh. Nobody's died yet, Victor. Oh, I opened it up. No one's in here. That one's a furniture. Back in the dormitory. Don't mess with anything. This is this famous. Is this used to be famous place? Here mm -hmm. used to be.
Hey Bobby, get your tail back down here. It's movie director. And uh, I give you part of my sandwich. You want a bite of salad? Oh, don't wear that. Dr. Pepper. I see your hand. Of course it's. Hey man. Hey Bobby, you heard him get your butt back down here now. Yeah. Yeah, Bobby, this is our new machine here. We keep throwing an ass because then you get the right cokes out. Now we got Dr. Pepper and all them nice cokes. Top of line machine here. Come and see us sometime and try it out. <laughs> How much of cokes? So. There's that tight rider. No, uh, the, the one he orders in the Dale's office. That's the, that's the new one. Tell him, let's tell him, show him we got a new typewriter here and we got the other one that he orders in Dale's office. Oh, really? Yeah, we're getting uptown around here now. I think we better come back then. Oh, man, I tell you what. we Look what they did. They're really impressed. The yeah, as I, as I fell and busted my ass, Bobby, we put these down. Let's see that phone. And these phones here? You believe your daddy bought these? I, I mean, they, it up. they're fancy. Boy, look yeah. at those. Now, you push a button. You can push this button here. I mean, the speaker here. And Get over here and talk to them without even picking this up. Wow. Man, I'll tell you what. Whose your daddy, idea was your that? Your daddy has gone berserk on money around him. <laughs> Too. Now we're outside. Yeah. Wait a minute. Come in here and get birth in there. There it is, the crematorium. Yeah. Even Mr. Keys had an inside redone. Did he have that done today or they summer. had to come and check it? Beamer and this other guy came and put new fire brick and everything in there. Wow. Okay, close it up. Well, it's automation now. The nigger's not here to put it up, but I'll do it anyway. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who wakes out the crew names? Me. You? Me and Hollis when Hollis is here. He don't trust Greg yet. He doesn't? No, he doesn't. He don't trust Greg at all. He always bothers back me. It's all in law. Oh, this is up the old pole she retired here. Make sure you see that, you know. Tell them I retired it, Bobby. There it is. And let uh, Bobby know that Bobby Slaughter is now running the Florida Chapel of Peace out there on Cervantes and Pace Boulevard. Florida Chapel of Peace? What yeah. is that? New funeral home is going to be going up the first year. What happened to the one in Guthrie's? He lost his butt. <laughs> oh, he did? Yeah. Well, how's he going to put this one up? I don't know. Who did he come up with? Beats me. Base Durbin's even trying to find that out. My God. Hey, Bobby, get your butt out of there. Come on back, boy. Believe this. Look how neat it is, mm. Bobby. Who's wheelchair? Yeah, yeah, Bobby, we even got some new lawnmower. Y'all got a new lawnmower? Yeah, we got a new lawnmower. We're going to get us a new wheelbarrow next. We tore that one up, so we'll get us a new one. Oh, my goodness. Who's wheelchair? Oh, that's. Was that for you to roll up and down? Yeah. That's Hollis's. Beamer was here this summer. He, he showed us how it worked up and down that ramp out there. Oh, Beamer did? Yeah. <laughs> did he go back to Tampa? Yeah. He just got fat as a butterball. He just got... <laughs> Hey, Candace.
See a Sammy? Here's your Sammy. Let him see your face so he can take it and show Bobby. This is for Bobby because he didn't get to come. Your daughter is crying for you. She's not dead. She's <laughs> Decorated again. Well, but you missed all that. And then if you'd been here when they were all four laying down there eating popcorn, watching TV, and they were just having a good time, and you all were off someplace, so you come now, you take pictures of me looking like a bunch of popcorn. Yes, it was. Say hi, Daddy. Did you decorate a Christmas tree? You got a bubble? Whoa! Woo! All right, Tanya! <laughs> Two points. <laughs> Throw it to Dale. Throw it to Dale. Throw it to Erica. <laughs> Daddy, catch this. Ready? Catch. Throw it to Dale. Play catch with Dale. Throw it.
Candace has to go to school tomorrow. The camera's oh. on. You're gonna get in sleep up here. Huh? Campus has to go to school tomorrow. Why do I have to sleep in here? Where else are you gonna sleep? With Victor. No, you're not. Victor's sleeping there with Erica. How come I can't? Because you're gonna sleep in here with Candace. Me? Not me. I'm not turning on my iPhone. I'm not, but you're gonna stay here in this I'm bed. Victor is staying right there in that bed. Erica's gonna go in there and study. Erica talks. Why don't we use that light on? Hey, I supposed to sleep on one of those pillows. No, you get that bird pillow I just gave you. What bird pillow? Can you leave the light on? I don't want y'all in here playing, but I'll leave it on. Well, the camera is running. Look at the little boys and girls. Night, night. She'll be back in a little while. She's got to study, so you go ahead and lay down now. Okay.
Hi, Carl. Hey. Hi, Candace. Hi. Hi, Victor. Mom. Hi, Tanya. Stand still. Let me see your pretty outfit. Cedar Hill Chapel. Okay. He can get me up there that little thing. Okay. See, if I was here, then I'd yeah, get... I just brought him a half an acre of food, as usual. Hey, Robin, now, I'm going to tell you something. Well, if you he was here, I'd share some of these hamburgers with you. Because I know I'm going to make you fat if you ever get your butt back down here. <laughs> Come on, Robin. 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 We miss y'all too. Y'all never write. And, uh, I'm a writer. And y'all keep. Know. And you and your wife keep making them uh, cartoons, triple X cartoons. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Henry said hey for you. Yeah, I talked to Henry. He came by here this morning. He's here. Let me get the full room first. Well, this is from Robert to Robert. <laughs> he wanted you to see this one especially, Bobby. This is your chapel. Of course, they have a body laid out tomorrow night, Thanksgiving night.
<laughs> yeah, he's got a name on the back. <laughs> Does that do sound? Does that do sound? Yes. Too? Oh. Everything you're saying. Okay, back this way. Yo, Tanya. Come Don't care. Care. Oh, she's got her arms out. <laughs> Hi, darling. Hey, baby. Your brother. <laughs> hi, hi, Daddy. Hi, Daddy. Hi, Garnet. Aaron's car. Oh wait, it's not washed. It's not washed. Who cares? It's not washed. <laughs> we'll do it when I wash it. It looks a lot better when I wash it. So you're going to wash it tonight, right? Ah! No, it's too, too dark. Ah. Front. Stop it. <laughs> no, she doesn't. Let's show them our tricks. Oh my Ready? goodness. Some tricks. Ready to lift me up. Lift you up. Pick me up. Pick me up. <laughs> and what else can we do? Uh oh. making pies, Bobby, but I don't know about this. Mm. We're going to does. send you some. Yeah. Whoops, it <laughs> fell into the bowl. Did it? How much? A spoonful. Sorry. Oh, well. I'm working with a nine-inch pie crust and a, a ten-inch pie. I'm working with a nine. I don't think I want any pie. Yeah.
This is for Bobby. Look over there. Get him over there. I'm grafted in. I don't bother this family like that. Oh, yes, you do. Get everybody in here for him. And you let them do things. You ever go out to They say it's the better of the two worlds. Well, the thing is, you can love them and send them back. You don't have to worry about the discipline. That's what It's not pretty.
choice. First thing, we can give them the standard traditional spanking or we can go new wave and nail their ears to the ceiling and just watch them dangle. And he likes the ear deal, so. <laughs> Go with the ear deal. I feel like I'm doing advertisement here, so. <laughs> Come on. Come on. So I think he's, he's willing to go for the, uh, what do you want? Is that what you want, Victor? No, I wanted to do it for you. You want to do it to me? Okay. Well, I don't want to do anything to Carrie. <laughs> Except put mask over head. A little homemaker. Victor said gonna hang you by the your eyeballs. You look like you lost all your helpers too. You're gonna play yourself here. What are you gonna do with this? Don't touch. Okay. Or you can have a cookie. Just stay off. Just keep helping me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I probably want to stand on me. Just gonna have some mashed potatoes and, and gravy. Yes. That. Uh, this is the gravy? Mm -hmm. I just don't, uh, both. Well, well golly. <laughs> I wonder how long it was going to take you before you said so. <laughs> <laughs> He's at home now. Here, rails pulling out. Look at this one. Right. Look at this broken. Bobby said, take lots of video. Talk to Bobby. Talk to Bobby. This is for Bobby. Eber. Eber. Okay, there's a lot of Bobby's here.
you on the phone. Yeah, this is Alan. Alan. Hey, Alan. Uncle Alan. <laughs> He's not my uncle. No, I mean, this is for Victor. Thank you. This is, oh, Bobby, this is Alan. Alan says hi. Say hi. You tell Alan. Here we are, get ready to eat. Last year, Jay. They do it every year. Oh, they do? Hey, Uncle Bob. Wish you was here. Not oh, really. <laughs> but we don't. We're glad you're in Birmingham. That's right. More fun without him. We're having fun without you. <laughs> really, we do miss you, Bob. Really. Good clothes. I am full. It was Daddy, good. <laughs> knocking at the door. Yeah. Okay. Oh, how pretty. Oh, oh, it's just Christy. Show the teddy bear. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bye, Pam. Bye. 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 Bye
See, my dad takes some of these presents to them, and he's got some gifts, and we'll probably bring them back up here. We'll be here sometime on Christmas Eve so we can get ready for Santa Claus! I think Santa Claus is going to bring some big presents this year. It's pretty nice stuff, too. Tiny's going to get some big presents. The boys are getting small presents, except for you know who. Well, and Geraldine, so. she's just going to buy them a little car and give it to them. And then give them the other thing when it comes by ups. Yeah, that's good. Well, to have a nice Christmas. Uh -huh. I wondered where we were going to put the Christmas tree in this apartment. But we moved the chair out of the way and put it right here in front of the window. And we got plenty of room for This is the first Christmas. time we've ever put the tree in the window. I don't know. There's my favorite ornament. Everybody likes to rub Santa's beer on yeah, the tree. I, I love that ornament. It is so pretty. I love Christmas. We had to buy a new tree. We had to get new decorations. Because we threw everything out last year. So we had to start over. Well, we got a nice tree. We sure do. Got a nice place to live and lots of Christmas mm -hmm. presents and toys. I wonder if these kids get too much, though, sometimes. I don't think they have anything that they got last year for Christmas. <laughs> well, they do. Victor got Carl's bike, and Victor got a, Carl got another Carl one. Carl got Victor's bike. Well, they swapped. Yeah, they swapped. We decided to get Victor's Victor's bike. legs are short, and we couldn't get the seat down on that other one, remember? He was grinding his shoes off with the scooter, too, <laughs> using his shoe as a brake, so we decided to get him a bike so he would save his shoes. And then the bike was too big, so they just swapped bikes. I Every kid ought to get his first bike on Christmas, but Victor didn't do it. Kind of jumped the gun on that. Well, we moved up in, in a hurry, too. We had to grab things fast. I got a good place to ride bikes and everything around here. A lot of kids and friends. Um, I don't know what to get PJ for Christmas. I never know what to get her. <laughs> One year I got her diamond earrings. One year You're I got her surprise pop me. tarts. Oh, that was cute, the pop tarts. <laughs> this year I don't know. I, I can know. always eat pop tarts. I'm gonna get a haircut tomorrow and probably ride around in the mall. And Why don't you surprise me store. this year? You know I love surprises. Mm, buy you a, a new bass guitar. No, <laughs> I wouldn't have time to play it. I, have to I bought this. me a laundry cart today. Well, I gotta put it together. No, uh Joey did. Did he? Mm -hmm. So you wouldn't have to do it. Do it thank you. <laughs> All you had to do is put the wheels on it. Folds up. It's about time you bought one like that. It's well, too far to cart all those heavy clothes. Tell me about it. Beamer's looking forward to seeing you. Yeah, Wants us to meet his girlfriend, Alan, Karen. Beamer, Karen, everybody Beamer. ought to be there. Maybe we can find one day where everybody's there. I wonder about on Alan. On Friday. Well, Alan's going to be there on the 20th, and he'll be gone 20th, 21st, 22nd. He should be back. On Thursday night or Friday. I don't have a feeling that'll probably hurt your parents' feelings if we don't. No, they hang already out know. House. We're spending the night there, but we're going to be gone during the day. They know that. Well, if everybody is going to be at my dad's house at once, I want to be there too. Especially oh yes. With the video camera. Everybody wants to see you too. They've missed you, especially Karen. I look the same. I'm a little more bald. I noticed it the other day. It's way down here. Oh no. Last year it was up here. Now it's down here. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be completely bald-headed one day. It hasn't started to go down too much on the sides. It's going down farther in the back. When I get a haircut, it doesn't look like I'm quite so bald-headed. I mean, so what? Mm -hmm. <laughs> they never give me a discount on getting a haircut. Well, we got up there to that Barbie Academy mm -hmm. school. I mean, $20 for a perm, that ain't bad. I think they charge 3 for a haircut. That's they charge 45 at the beauty shops. About food. half price from what these other places charge. And yeah. It's the same haircut when you get finished. It is. And I go to the clinic. I had my physical. I'm healthy. 
figure it out to get a physical. I haven't been to the doctor in ten years, I think, to get Yours a physical. Yours is gonna cost a bundle. Mine only costs fifteen. <laughs> Nobody gets out of here without getting on a camera. Look who's here. Hello. He went in the club, Dad. <laughs> That's a close-up camera, huh? I'm gonna give you a picture here with the yeah, Carl, get in the pull that quarter out of your hair again. Oh no! What? Yeah. Oh, Maybe we can watch the tape here, and you, you'll learn the trick. That's about right. <laughs> There's a tab in the front you have to push back. It's kind of hard to do. Tab in the front. That's about enough of that picture taken. Huh? Everybody's been here now, I think. You, Renfro, and my mother. I don't think Karen hasn't been here. I well, don't. They may. Camel cigarettes are going to finally kill me. I'll bury you with a pack of them. Yeah, that'd be good. You can say, well, I finally killed him, but anyway, he knew it. I was 95 and died of the damn cigarettes after all. Carl didn't come in. No, I'll never let it be 95. You know, wear that camera. <laughs> <laughs> say, well, okay. <laughs> I'll never forget. Dad, you know, they'd get ready to take a picture. But he didn't know it was moving picture, you know. And he'd be walking around like this, and somebody turn a motion picture camera on, and he'd go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, tell it, Dad, you're supposed to move. But they keep the ball the picture now, and he'd get and, and then yep. what? Straight face, city girl. Get ready. Get ready.
Well, you got a nice place here. I enjoyed the visit. I'm glad you came, too. I'm looking forward to seeing y'all come down for Christmas. We probably will. Within a, a week, we'll be down there again. Well, it's the 10th of December. I'll wait till the kids get out of school, and then we'll come that day. Well, Alan's Karen will be there Saturday, about the 16th or 17th. He can. Yeah. I think his big problem is the long drive. Well, he can't drive. His truck won't make it. It's a long, long way. Judy doesn't have a car? No. She gets off Wednesday night. They couldn't leave till about 7 or 8 o'clock. Bill's got to open up Saturday morning. So the only way would be them to fly up here Wednesday night and fly back Saturday. They can stay Wednesday night late, Thursday, Thursday night. Friday, Friday night. If they're going to fly, they better get some plane tickets now. I don't Around know. the holidays, Bill, it'll be pretty difficult to get schedules. They'll uh, check the schedules. Yeah. Two round trip tickets. They got a flight now that goes from Tampa to Pensacola and Pensacola to Tampa. I know. He, didn't used to have I too. he said it'd be $507. For both of them? Yeah. Why don't they ride the bus? That sounds tacky as hell, but it's cheap and it gets you up there. Yeah, but it's the time. They've only got like 48 hours off. The time they fool out bus schedules, they, they ride up here on the bus. Turn around it go takes right a longer to come on the bus than it does drive your own car, so it's 12, 14 hour trip. <laughs> they spend 28 hours riding buses and then it hits <laughs> Cold. Maybe it would be cheaper if they rent a car and drive it up there. Still they still got the time, but I mean it's cheaper than they can get there. Well, it ain't the cheap. It's the time. The old truck made it, you know. It's fine. There haven't been any tires put on that truck since I bought the truck. And since Dale gave me the truck and I bought those tires. And they be risky. I'd hate to drive my cheapy, old car. Cheapy, recap, recaps that I bought to put on the truck because I drive it around town just not going anyplace. And man, he's driven it to Tampa and back twice and those tires probably got five, 6,000 miles on them. Running That's around. Dangerous. Uh, there's just no way. Needs to make another 900 mile trip you know, those damn tires. Yeah. Safety's a factor. I tell you, if I could scrape up any money one way or another, if you and Alan and Karen and Eric are all going to be there, I believe I'd borrow the money so he could be there. Well, we're definitely coming. Better spend it on my funeral. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> They're getting ready to go back to Bye. Pensacola. Bye-bye. See you later. I'll see. There they go. Victor? Hey, Dad! Yo, man! I'm rich! How much cash! You got there? Cash! Count it out to me, Victor. Let's see! One, one, 
Two. Put it all down here so I can see it. One, two, three, four, five. Five I'm your daughter, Blue, man. Hey, Dad. Here's my daughter. Here's my daughter. This is my baby. Don't cover up the camera. Dad, I got 20, 40, 60, 65, 66 What dollars. you got over there? Pile it all up there so we can look at it. Cash. Cash. Put it all together. Let's throw it. No. Cash. <laughs> We're rich like a monkey. We're rich. Pick it all up. We're rich. Daddy. Let's. Pick it all up for me, Carl. Pick it all up and count it for me, Carl. Give it all to Carl, Victor. Give it all to me. Quick, Tiny. Don't step on it. Bake. 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 Pick it all up and count it for me, Carl. 300, 400. Um, what is that other one? 100, 200, 300, 400. I know it. Where's the 500? You all better have it all there. 500, 520, 540, 560, 565, 566 dollars. Well, y'all can have the $1 bills, but I want the hundreds and the twenties. You and want five. five. Yeah, and the five. Daddy, look what could happen that's tore. Well, y'all won't tear it no more. Leave it alone. Daddy, what? How much is this? That's a hundred dollar bill. No way, man. That's a lot of money. That my money. You know what you could buy with a hundred? What? You could buy Nintendo with a hundred. We could buy five Nintendo machines with that much money. No, we couldn't. A Nintendo is $149. Well, we, we could buy almost all three of them. We could spend all this money. We could spend all this cash and give it to the store and we could buy Nintendo. Mm -hmm. Merry Christmas, we wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year and lots of bills. <laughs> and you thought we were having steak. <laughs> I wish that we were. <laughs> this is what we've been doing today. Planning our good. Christmas party tonight. Thanks to Joanne. <laughs> Sean! Out there. Sean! Ask Sean. Sean to come into our little party. Well? Merry Christmas. Sing us a song. You don't know one. But as she threw the snow and warm herself in sleigh, all the fields we go. As much as I love music, I'm not very musical. Can't play an instrument, so I can't play. Pam and her camera. <laughs> My dear. Mm. Well, the snacks are good, man. Tuna fish, sandwiches, cheese sandwiches, potato chips, dish, cheese balls, chocolate cake, chocolate candy, and green stuff. Well, just tell him not to hit you. I don't run over. No, don't run over and just tell him not to hit you.
can't believe you. I did. I'm going to get it. Oh, it's I need more of that. Eric, I don't want to put it on. I don't want to put it on. I want my best on. This thing goes on top. It came. Yeah. Good. I'm putting it at the front. Mommy, look. And that's the best of the picture.
She lets you catch her. That's usually good. Hey, you man. Good to see you. I know. It's been a long time. Extremely long time. We took some videos at Thanksgiving time. And I was hoping Mom would send you some of this. I had a tape made up for you and I ran off and forgot it. Really? I wish you'd have brought it so I could have seen it. There's only about 30 minutes worth of stuff for it, so I'll add this to the tape and send you the whole thing. Good, that's great. Yeah. <laughs> that's real good. We got here about, uh... Mm. about 11 or so. What are you doing there, Dan? We went to uh, the airport last night. We were supposed to win at 8 17. So we sat out in the parking lot and we were at the airport. It was cold. So about 20 minutes after 8, hey, 10 minutes late, the plane went come through the clouds and it landed and they said, there they are. So we went in and met all the passengers. I didn't check what airlines it was. You know. People on time. Really? <laughs> it was. It was a Northwest Airline plane. I mean, so I went back to the Eastern desk, asked about five flight 446. They said, uh, it's too foggy land. Fog come in and he's circling around up over the top, you know. So we waited around for about an hour after that. Later, and they said he's going back to Tampa. I said, great. So I said, I don't care about the plane. What about the people? Yeah, when are they going to be back? <laughs> and he said, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. So we went to the Waffle House and made a hamburger. That's the only thing, the last, very last video you had of me, I had a beard. Yeah, I think so. Well, we're going to leave Saturday so we can get back before it gets dark. So the kids can go to sleep and get up. See Santa Christmas, Claus, yeah, Christmas Santa Claus will come to Pensacola, he'll come to Birmingham, huh? Yeah, we had to send him a change of address for him. Yeah. Some of the kids told Carl that there's no Santa Claus, that it's your parents. Who? Oh, but that's not right. Can't possibly be right. Where am I going to get money to buy all those kind of toys and stuff? And how could I hide them without you finding them? Yeah, you don't go looking, do you? <laughs> that shoe's not going to come untied too easy there. You made them already, made them before? It's so tall. Does he look any different, Ben? He looks the same, he's just taller. He's still tall. See, you're right to there. See here? Look, that's how tall you are. Look at this line here. See? Stay nice. That's how tall you are. I never thought of freezing cakes. Oh, that makes you freeze it. Yeah, really. And how old are you? Huh? I say, I guess about two. Probably three next month. I don't know. I've been a long time. This one's potty trained. All right. Potty trained. That's good. Took me a long time to get her interested. Oh, and I used to strap mine to the toilet in front of the TV. Right I tried that. <laughs> really? I'm camera shy, really. If you're around me, you don't get used to the camera. <laughs> I know. Really? I know. We were going to the Lola's and we saw a few, you know. Yeah, we saw some videos. You forgot that tape, didn't you? Yeah, that's what I told her. Yeah, I remember. Well, that was a good one my wife. Oh, God. Oh. Really? Mm. You get to see Mom very much? Yeah, I'm working about a, a mile from Bush Gardens. Uh, work about two or three miles from uh, uh, Buccaneers Stadium. So when I go run errands, I go right by Bush Gardens three or four times a day. We went to see Fad Company there two or three weeks ago. Tickets were ten ninety five a piece. I figured that was a cheap, easy way to get in to see Bush Gardens for ten dollars. It worked, huh? and it worked. <laughs> Because we walked all over the bush garden, saw it, did everything we wanted to, and you know, for ten dollars instead of twenty-five dollars, we stayed probably four or five hours out there, walked all over the place. It was great. We had a good time. Well, I've only seen one picture of you. And you don't look like the picture. I know. I don't photograph this stuff. I hate pictures. 
Well, I can be proud of her, man. Yeah, yeah, you're doing it. Yeah. Yeah. See, when the camera's on, there's a little red light that flashes, and then I know it's on. Look where I got. Well, look Carl, where I am. What? Come here, Karen. <laughs> Yay! Look what I got. Well, this nickname is Dutch. Peace, man. What's up? Look who's here. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you, everybody. I haven't seen anybody in a year. It's the first time I've been back here in school. I know. I've been gone for a year. Uh, once ever. I think nine months was my longest stand of being gone until. I think there's a little hair missing up here. A little more. A little more? <laughs> there's not quite as much fuzz. What gets me is this in the back here. It's going way down. <laughs> yeah. It right? never go away, does it? You leave your horseshoe. I'm as short as I ever was. Oh, I tell you, I'm like a piece of dynamite. A little package, but a hell of a bag. <laughs> I look really great. Where, I thought Erica was with you. No, nah, Erica, where is it? It's her? like like that old story I we all wear. Say grass won't grow on a well trod street. They say no, it won't grow in cement either. That's right. <laughs> or that some people say no, it won't grow in a bowling ball either. I made you some cookie welcome home cookies right over here. Let's go look at the cookies. This coffee's ready. You made a cookie. There's more stuff to eat around here we'll get used to. <coughs> Those look good. Highland. Mm, good. They are. They're, uh, there's Rice Krispies and M&M's and Special Chips. I've been eating holiday goodie food. <laughs> for about a month now. For a week. We've had three consecutive parties at the funeral. Really? Turkey and ham and all that crap, but I just can't have it. I eat one time today. That was, yeah, that was too much. Carl, come in here. Did you tell you about us playing hide and go seek last time? Yeah, I got to see the video. I'm glad Pam brought the camera because I got to see everything that she did. All the little surprises and stuff. It was fun. What I told Dad I'm going to do is make a copy of this with their Christmas songs and Christmas Day and send it to them. Do you know what happened to that tape of your car presentation? To you, and if you'll give it back to him, you'll find it, you'll make a VHS copy. I don't know where it is, though. Grandpa, your green candle went out. Oh, Lord, somebody's messing with it. Somebody's done looking outside. It, remember before that, I smiled at it like that. How'd you put it? Um, it's okay. It's still a little poked out, you know. It's a little poked out. You've done hurt or anything? Did it touch the vein? Whoa! I'm zooming in on it right now.
Yeah, yeah she talked to me. Not around here, you know, just Yeah. She let the back of my hair grow a little bit and grew a mustache. And feed me. Well uh, she is feeding you good. I ain't kidding. Look at He's that losing belly. some weight. He's He's look, look. Let me see. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Zoom don't a zoom in on it. Shot. <laughs> She looked as, as much as she's worth, believe me. And she said that, uh, you know, the call back tonight that she wouldn't be home, but she had a date. Did she ask her for that? She was asking how's the family, how everybody doing. Sat down, had something to eat, went and waited about 15 minutes for the plane, got on the plane, left, flew to Pensacola, flew over Pensacola for an hour, and then flew back to Tampa. And we got back, I was about 12, 12.30. So I says, well, it's going to take an hour and a half to drive home. That puts us home about 2, 2.30. we got to get up, be at the airport at 8 o'clock. So we went and got a motel room, $39 for a motel room. Spent the night, slept two or three hours, got up, we slept about three hours, got up, took a shower, got there, and went back to the airport. If there was 40 people on that we had so I mean, we were it was either drive an hour and a half this way. It was a real I called that here, called Kara, and told her to call around right everybody know. Yeah. Really I called you about 11 30 and found out. I thought you were going to be here by then. You didn't tell me what happened. I was concerned we had to get back today, too, with the holiday. 
crush in the airports and all that. They could have took care of the people this night. Even we, we, did, we did pretty good. But see, they gave us no compensation at all last night. They didn't let us make any phone calls. They didn't help our motel rooms. There was people there. Nothing. There was people from out of town that they were they were waiting for that flight to come home. They were coming from a different city, and they had to sit in the airport you know, for about seven hours. Oh, I've had a 13-hour layover because 13 hours, but it was... I got your letter the other day. Did you? Yeah. Did you get the last one out? It was typed. Uh, typed. Uh, no, this one was written on a yellow piece of paper. Yeah. I typed you a letter. Mail it. We'll probably get it. I haven't been writing letters at all lately. I just sad, lazy. That's what I don't like to talk about, you know. Same old thing at work every day. Good. Bobby never gets in the mood. Oh, no. This seafood gumbo is delicious. And special recipe. They're a little spicier. Well, Victor, uh, I like it too. Wait, wait, I got some Tabasco sauce. I'm going to have some I'm more. Talk, I'm talking about you. There's plenty. There's plenty. There's plenty. But I'm talking about stove hot. Oh. Gumbo's got to be where you just have to blow on it. And then it's good. Somebody stick it like, plate like this in the microwave for about five seconds. It'd be so much good. That's like coffee. You know, coffee's good. You let it sit around. We pour on coffee. You need to heat it up. It's yeah. just not good cold. We got a microwave? Yep. Yeah. Call it Dick Code TV set? Boy, I think we have made. That's all you need. Washing yeah. machine and dryer in our apartment. Boy, we found the answer. We used to place the heat sheet. Yeah, we've been in her storage <laughs> half a dozen times digging stuff out. What was my expression, Bobby? She said you only need three things. Eat, sleep, Stop and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else counts. Well, I mean, it's nice, though. It's got a dishwasher and... Got a swimming pool, tennis court, racquetball court. It's a small apartment complex. Half the people who live there are retired. The other half are all business people and work. So there's no trash that lives there. Everybody drives good cars. Yeah, every, yeah. Everybody that goes to work goes out to work in a suit and tie. There's a fireman, a state trooper. I mean, there's some, there's good people in there. There's not even like I've been saving that for you. Yeah. Yes. There's two classes of people in this old people. 
for the young people like us little kids. And we're about the only married couple that I think that... Dang. Oh, I got my voter's registration card. I got mine too, in the man. You know what I am? A Republican. Are you? I didn't re-register in Alabama, but I am going to re-register as a Republican this time. Okay. I'm registered as a well, First Democrat. I thought I made a mistake, but then, you know, really see mine? Because most of the people in, in Florida are Democrats. Here's mine. What was your registration? When you have to opt in, you read it. I'm not Democrat. sure. Smells good too. Yeah. So, Bobby, how have you been? Oh, I'm fine. And your job? I still have one. <laughs> you still have a job? Yeah. Because I'm great, that's why. Yeah. <laughs> Those are Alan's host families? Yes. I'm just looking at them. You want to wave? You want to wave at the camera? Big event was Victor's birthday. We had a putt putt golf birthday. Went down to the putt putt golf place. Had all these kids there playing goofy golf. It was fun. Why didn't you put it on tape and then go back and tape it all on a big one or something? Well, I put the VCR tape in here and then just put that tape straight in the TV. We can watch this in a little while. Yeah. 
Because it was all paper down in here. I have some of those cookies for this There was no keys on the table when whoever said it, right? No. So I'm just going to have to go through the garbage. Yes. No. Those cookies uh, get real brittle. It's an everyday one. Uh, no. no, they don't get brittle. She got a chain. Just There's four cups. Four cups of sugar. There's two cups of sugar and four cups of flour, so they're real light and fluffy. They don't get brittle at all. You can keep, you can freeze them, take them out, and then and put a uh, pot of sugar over them again. They still the same. Well, they look good. Good. Why don't you have one? I'm full. <laughs> That's a pretty ugly mask. Everybody hates him, you know? Geraldo. I like her. Y'all must be tired. It's equivalent to 11.30 for y'all after being up half the night. I remember. I'm getting tired, too. I usually go to bed about 10 o'clock. I went to bed at 9 o'clock the other night. I was just tired. We woke up at 6 o'clock yesterday morning and both worked all day. Picked her up at 4 o'clock, left the house at 5.30, got to the airport, got on the plane, stayed in the air for four hours, got back to the airport, walked all the way back to the terminal, went to a motel, and then I got back, back to the airport, flew back to Pensacola, flew over Pensacola for 30 minutes, got off the plane, came here, and been sitting here all day. That's a busy day. Went to for two hours. Where are we going to sleep? We got enough places for everybody to lay down? Oh, yeah. We're sleeping in Karen's room. Y'all are sleeping in the library. Eric is sleeping in her bed. And the kids are going to sleep on the floor. And they like that. The kids will sleep on the floor at home anyway. In the trunk? Oh, well, good thing it's nice and quiet around here. You found your keys. Good. Where? Where'd you find them? In the trunk of the car. Trunk? <laughs> Good morning. <laughs> this is a family thank you, Jeff. Merry Christmas. <laughs> I'm put I'm dressed. Okay. <laughs> is this what you do? Daddy, keep me on, Daddy. Hey, you're riding a big bike. I got these pants at a Levi's store. I like, I like that shirt. Yeah. I got that from a mail order catalog. Really? Shirt. Yeah. How much you pay for it? Uh, Fifteen to eighteen dollars, something like that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> ain't bad at all. Mm. The reporter came to the bathroom after me today. <laughs> He said the 
time y'all leave to go back to Birmingham? Tomorrow sometime. We have to go over to the Renfro's tonight and visit. I'd like to be back uh, in Birmingham tomorrow before it gets dark. That should be a problem. Mostly so we can get all of our stuff put away and settle down and wait for Santa Claus to come. Yeah, we... Santa Claus won't fly over us. He threw us down here. <laughs> what you doing in there, Dad? I'm making... I'm making another pot of coffee. More coffee? Did y'all sleep well last night? Man, I died when I got to bed. I woke up about 3 o'clock in the morning and couldn't go back to sleep. Did you really? I always wake up about 5.30 or 6 o'clock in the morning. And I must have woke up then too here. And I felt like it was too early to get up. I laid there. I thought it must have been 9 or 10 o'clock. It was about 8 o'clock when I finally got up. I slept good. I slept good last night. It's real humid here today. It doesn't get this humid in Birmingham ever. Everybody gripes in Birmingham about the heat and all that. It really doesn't get any hotter there. It does here except the humidity makes a difference. Is that my daddy? Mom. He's gonna knock you down. It's it real humid in Tampa. Tampa. My mother hates it down there. She says it stays too damn hot. All it the is time. hot down there. I mean, it, we've had one day of frost. It's got down to 30 once. You'd be surprised, uh, you know, the further south you go like that. I've never lived, you know, any further south in Pensacola. It gets cold here. I mean, this you have winter. You have all four seasons here. Down there, it just stays hot all the time. It stays hot all the time. All the time. Oh, I noticed this tree here. Is all the leaves still on it? The leaves fell off all the trees like that in Birmingham a month ago. I'm surprised this 250 miles or so makes a whole lot of difference in the terrain and weather and everything else. It's Dad's firewood over there. Yeah, I know. That yeah. hasn't changed much out here in 20 years. The houses weren't out there then. Huh? It's a great, great place to go rock and frock in the woods. Look who's behind us here. Good <laughs> morning. <laughs> Karen, 9.30, finally getting up. I had to get a bed, I went to bed late last night. Logan Ooh. went outside and got some kind of throw up or something all over him. Because I had to let him use the bathroom now. Oops, oops, oops. He got something all over him and I had to come in here and wash him off. Oh, no. Oh. Hey, it took me about 20 minutes. Good morning, Karen. Good morning. <laughs> Smile morning. pretty. <laughs> There's our dad's car right oh, yeah. there. <coughs> What's your name? Huh? I don't know. What's your last name? Janita. Janita. That's that old Marsala girl. <laughs> That's my maiden name, Marsala. She's not married no more, so she's Marsala now. I'm Marsala now. What is it? What? My, your ma last my maiden name or my ma what? Your maiden name. Marsala. Just like the wine? I should have kept it that way. Yeah? What's going on? Right there riding those bikes in the street. You ready for another plane ride? Not really. <laughs> I don't like plane rides. <laughs> I know. They scare you. You should be used to it by now. You should be you're a regular flyer guy. Were the planes <laughs> crowded when you rode off? Going, it was nothing. It was like, forget it. It was so empty. Coming back was crowded. I hate a crowded airplane. I can I believe think it makes it more claustrophobic. Well, and these planes, the seats, like you have no leg room at all. That's the seats Eastern right here, you. you're boxed in. I don't like plane rides. I, I, that's the best way to go if you want to get somewhere. Yeah. I hate to drive. The planes are expensive and they... Just turn the camera off. <laughs> I'll go inside. Why? Where are you going there, girl? See you later. <laughs> <laughs> you have to work on Christmas Day? I work all day Christmas, all day Christmas Eve. I'm the new guy. 
Everybody else is going to stay home. Judy works uh, till 2 o'clock. And then we're going to a Christmas party where she works. And then we're going to go um, home. And then Christmas she's going to get up and come to work with me. Well, I probably won't have to go back to work until Sunday night. 6.30, it's my regular night to work. By then, Christmas is pretty wound down. I work Sunday and Wednesday nights. It's a pretty good schedule. My work weeks go by fast. Two days off every week is like vacation every week. I love it. I heard Hike Bennett died, the next door neighbor. Yeah. And said they found him dead in a chair or something. In there a couple two, days he was days. dead. There's Carl Keys out there. Hey, Carl! Wave! Wave! Carl! Look at that, I got the dog taking a shit. That's a pretty exciting video. <laughs> There's Victor out there. Where? He's over here, to the right. Oh, I got him. I'm going to go inside and see what they're doing with the camera. Okay. I want to know what you've been doing, Karen. You have an apartment in Orlando and you're going to school there? No, I didn't have an apartment. I stayed with my mom. What's the name of the school you're going to? It's called the University of Central Florida, UCF. I've never heard of that one. I'm surprised. It's a pretty good school. It's fairly new. They're, they're really good. They specialize in the engineering, education, and business. They're not um, real old, so they don't have everything. They don't have nursing. They don't have exercise physiology. They don't have some of the newer programs. They don't have medicine. <laughs> You're going to transfer to the University of West Florida? UWF. When? When are you going to get all your stuff and move back here? It's in the bedroom. It's already right here. It's very yeah. catastrophized. It's in the bedroom. <laughs> I still have to go all the way down there and get my stereo and everything. Too. Well, how much longer uh, do I have to go to school? Yeah, how much longer Daddy. do you have to go to school? I still have a couple of years. Dad. Two, two more years. I don't go by fast enough. Sports science. Then I probably I might branch off into corporate fitness. Mom, I don't know. All I know is yeah. that I will get a two-year degree and then I'll get my master's. I don't know where I'm going to get my master's. I'm thinking about getting it at FSU. I've got to get the cream out of it. Mom, I'm going to get the cream out of it. That's good.